Hello friends, welcome to Amazoptive Webcast and in today's video demonstration we are going to see how to redirect a computer object to a specific OU. When you install Active Directory on your Windows Server, soon after you will want to join computers to your domain. Let's open Active Directory users and computers. In a default installation of Active Directory, when you join a computer account to your domain, the computer account are put in this container and the name of this container is Computers Container. For many installation, this isn't a big deal. The administrator would simply move the computer account to the appropriate organizational unit once the computer has been joined to the domain. Let's open Group Policy Management Console and uh, expand your forest, expand your domain, expand your domain name. And one thing you may have noticed is that the default computer's container does not allow you to link group policy object. And as you can see, we have a domain controller container over here, but we do not have computer's container over here. This could be a very limiting, especially if your organization security policy requires that you initially configure the system once it joins the domain, possibly by applying specific policies, installing softwares or enable features such as the local Windows firewall. So one simple solution of this problem is to redirect the computers to another container. If we want to redirect this computer account to store under particular new container that time first we have to check certain requirements and the requirements are the domain must be configured to run in the Windows Server 2003 domain functional level. And if you check the functional level of our domain over here the current domain functional level is Windows Server 2012 R2 and that is the highest functional level possible for Windows Server 2012 R2 Active Directory domain. All domain controllers in the target domain must run Windows Server 2003 or newer version and in our case we have only one domain controller and that is running on Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Evolution Edition. That means our lab meets the minimum requirement to redirect computer account to another container. Remember, the computer container is a system protected object that cannot be removed. However, the container can be renamed. For this demonstration purpose, on this server, I'm logging as a domain administrator credential, and that's why we have a sufficient privilege where we can redirect the computer's container to a new location. So first of all, on Active Directory users and computers, you have to create a new container and let's create a new OU for our computer account. Let's specify the name, my lab, computers, click on OK and that's it. Now when we join a new computer to our domain, that time we want that the computer account will be stored under this container. And to do that, we have to run a command redirect CMP, just right click on uh, start button and select command prompt with admin credential. Okay, let me change the uh, font size so the command will be visible to you. Okay, now we have to run command. Redirect CMP and let's take a help. We have to run the command like redirect CMP and then we have to specify the container's distinctive name. In our case, the container name is mylab underscore computers. Let's run the command OU is equal to mylab underscore computers then DC is equal to mylab and then DC is equal to local. That's it. Hit enter and that's it. The redirection was successful. Now let's check the redirection and for this demonstration I have another Windows 10 computer and let's join this computer to our domain. Remember already I set up a network configuration on this computer and this computer is ready to join with our domain. So select system, click on change settings, click on change and select domain. And let's specify the name of our domain, mylab.local, let's specify the credential, administrator and hit enter. Welcome to the mylab.local domain. Let's come back on our domain controller and just refresh. As you can see, the computer account of newly joined Windows 10 computer is stored under my lab computer. It is not stored under the default container name computers. Once you run redirect cmp.exe to redirect the computer container to an OU, 
the computer's container will no longer be a protected object. That means that the computer containers can now be moved, renamed, or you can delete it. And this is the way how we can redirect a computer accounts to a new container in Windows Server 2012 Active Directory. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.